Ooh. Oh, what? <laughs> Are you serious? That is so cool. How's it going, everybody? My name is Finn Player. We're back, and we're playing Slime Rancher. This game is finally released. So this is the full version that we're going to be jumping into today. It even says V1.0.0 at the bottom there. And look who we've got here. That is Beatrix. That has been us all along. The entire time that we've been playing this game, we have been her. And she's a cutie. <laughs> she is. I really like that bluish green hair. It's really cool. So I said that I was going to start a new series. We might start that today. We might get around to doing it. But there's some new content in this update. I didn't think there was going to be, but there's some end game stuff. So we're going to jump into that and we're going to take a look at that. Oh, holy snappers. <laughs> <laughs> I completely forgot about the mess that I made. I kind of regret it just a little bit now. Just a little bit. But Tarmageddon, and thank you for who left that comment. That was brilliant. Tarmageddon was amazing. It was very good. It was tremendous. There were so many deaths. That guy is so angry. I feel like I should be getting some food for these guys. What's the time? It's 6 p.m. on the ranch. We should probably nap and let's let's get involved. Let's get involved in this game. Okay, we're gonna jump in here. We're gonna sleep until the morning. There's Beatrix right there. Look at this. Look how happy we are. If I change the colors, does that change my getup? Let's have a look. I'm gonna go to this frozen violet one. Not frozen violent. <laughs> Let's have a look. Nah, it doesn't. We're still got a pink top. Okay, that's fine. Let's return to the ranch. Let's do it. We're back in the ranch. Back in the ranch! Back in the ranch! Got the little honey slimes. You guys need some food. I don't have any food around here. I, I really just don't have anything. I'm so sorry about that. But here's some bowls you guys can play with. <laughs> I just took that from the slime. I'm the worst. I am the worst rancher. I mean, I'm, I'm good at ranching, but I'm so mean. Oh god. Look at that face. Look at that face. That face is gonna try and boop me. No, it's not. That face is getting the heck out of here. You guys have been letting me know in more ways than one. And I, I was sleeping when this update came out. Everyone was like, hey, friend, go and play the update, bro. Go and play it. I can't. I literally can't because I was sleeping when it came out. And it's only just now. Oh, God, I have all these echoes. It's only just now, like almost 24 hours later, that I'm, I'm actually, you know, able to play it because I'm, I'm not working and stuff. I'm just gonna put all these across here. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm just getting rid of all these because it's kind of fun. Let's get rid of the blue ones as well. We're making this weird rainbow band of stuff. It's like Christmas all up in here. This is good. These guys will be happy. Look at this. Look at your Christmas decorations. You. This is pretty good. Wonder if we'll get a Santa slime one day. That, that wouldn't be creepy at all, right? We're gonna be heading out to the glass desert. And you guys all know that I deleted all my teleporters. <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna make it a little bit tricky. We're gonna have to run there instead. Hey there, little rock slime. He's so happy. He's just hanging out in the in the cave all on his lonesome. Because he's a loner, that guy. He likes to be alone. He hates hates all the other slimes. Especially Jerry. Jerry's a jerk. The ancient ruins. <laughs> ruins. Okay. Okay, we're gonna head through here. Oh god, oh god. I almost fell down because I forgot about my thing. Ooh. Ooh. Hey! Look at that! That one works! All I need to do is just put some teleporters down there and we good again. We good. We don't have to worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Okay. Don't ever say that again, Finn. <laughs> You're embarrassing everybody. What's new? Is there anything new? Ooh, hang on. Hang on a minute. These glass spiky shard thingies, that was shard <laughs> with a D, they kind of look like they're kind of cracked. Like they've got a bit of an icicle kind of look to them now. Hmm. Is that new? Is that new? I don't know. I might need to go back and watch one of my old videos. And then I'll be able to work it out. That'll be the deciding factor. Is this purple grass new? Are these walls new? <laughs> Maybe. I forget. Because I have the memory of a ham sandwich. Oh, alrighty. Come on, come on. There's Hobson Twilbjus. He's <laughs> Twilbjus. <laughs> I will say his, his name right one day. Twilbjus. Hobson Twilbjus. That's his little sign thingy. 
Right, so we're going out to the glass desert, the part where there's the uh, the construction sign. Remember we mentioned that in the previous video. Someone said we need to go out there. I did mention, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that there could be some end game stuff out there because you know, the construction sign. So that's where we're going. This is gonna be good. I'm just, I just put my bum in the fire. I just burnt my knees and my buttocks. We're almost there, we're almost there. Come on, Finn. You don't even have any food. What if, what if there's like a surprise party and we've rocked up with no food? We'll just get kicked out. Oh God, we just fell down. What are we gonna do now? Oh, it was a pool party. <laughs> there's kind of a party going on. All right, let's go down this way then because this is the other way to get there. Okay, everything seems normal. No, that wasn't there before. This is pretty, pretty amazing, isn't it? <laughs> this is really cool. Alrighty. Oh man. What is this? Is there any secret stuff? What is this? It's like a temple or something. And there's two doors and a slime switch. What's Hobson saying? Two doors, Beatrix. Life is filled with moments where there's two doors and you can only choose one. Alright, hand, let me get my Hobson Twilgers voice on. I came to the far far range because a search for the unknown is in my bones. And in time, even a thousand light years away from Earth wasn't enough. So I searched for secrets within the ancient ruins that led me here. This place was my ticket to go even further. H. <laughs> Ooh, snap! So there's two doors. That one's open. That one's closed. Where do they lead to? Ooh, they switch. I can only choose one door. I can, one. One is all we get. Okay, Hobson, what's up, buddy? The ruins are actually great engines that allow for travel through space and maybe even time. After years of study, I knew how to activate them and I alone would be the first to cross over into the Trubion. It was the ultimate adventure. But then there's that other door. I met Tora, Tora, Tora. <laughs> <laughs> it fell in love. What are the chances of that? She had a piece of my heart. And the universe had the other. Two doors, Beatrix. H. Okay. Well, I chose this door, so I'm sticking to my guns. Ooh, hey, pink slimes. I see you guys chose the second door too. Wise choice. <laughs> Ooh, there's also a prickle pear tree. That's probably from the, the Slimy Slams. You guys can have them. That's fine. Hey. There's the other door. I can, I can see both doors. I didn't even have to choose. Hobson, you crazy old bugger. <laughs> Ooh, this is nice. What's all this about? I wonder if there's any building spots here. There are. There's building plots things. All right, Hobson, what's up this time, champ? I chose my door. I went back to the ranch and promptly sold it. I packed my things and took a tour of this beautiful land. One last time, leaving these little notes for you. It was time I said goodbye to the life I had. My hands and feet tingled as I approached this monolithic warp terminal. What lay ahead of me was an adventure unlike anything I had ever known in my life. I stepped onto the platform, my heart racing. Wow. Is this the platform? Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. What is this place? This place is cool. Where does that go? I don't know. What's this say? But I didn't go. <laughs> I had packed for a new adventure, but it wasn't going to be beyond space and time. So I said a little goodbye to what could have been and headed to Taurus Ranch. I'm looking forward to hearing the sound of those wind chimes. <laughs> I've never been in love before. Never known anything like it. It's time I got to knowing what all the fuss is about. So good luck to you, Beatrix. Always remember to use your head and let your heart do the thinking every now and again. It might surprise you. Very good. Thanks, Hobson Twilbjus. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay. Wow. So I wonder if this is like the teleporter or something. I don't know, but you notice there's all these, uh, yeah. There's all these little warpy things, or not warpy things, gadgety things, right? That we could put warps if we wanted to. I wonder if there's something in there. Like, I wonder if that's like a secret or something. 
if you put like the all the warp spots there, something happens. Maybe a greater warp opens up, and you get sucked up into the space and thrown into the sun, <laughs> and you just burn up like a meteorite. Who knows, man? Who knows? But that's uh, that's that's it. Oh, <laughs> and now the game's mad at me because there's a firestorm. Do you know what the doors are about, Tabby Slime? <laughs> he just headbutted me, which means work it out, Finn. Work it out yourself there, buddy. We have a letter from Casey. Okay, what's this say? Here's another tour coming up, and I have a feeling that this will be the one. So here I am, packing my bags and thinking of you. Maybe this is how it felt when you were leaving for your big adventure. Lots of excitement, lots of butterflies. And even though I know you're so far away, I keep thinking that maybe I'll catch you somewhere out here, out there, in the crowd, if that ever happens. I'll promise I'll sing a song for you. It wouldn't be the first time. Wow. That day, Beatrix took a moment to reflect. She thought about Hobson and Tora, and the adventures she would had exploring the Far Far Range. But most of all, she thought of Casey, and wondered where life would take her next. Is that Casey? Ah! It's the, it's the end game! It's the end credits! Huh? It's a honey slime? This is awesome! I like this, this little animation-y thing going on here. Oh wow, it's a boom slime and he looks like the sun. What is this one? Is this a crystal slime? It is a crystal slime, it's huge. <laughs> he looks a little bit like Saturn, because he's got a ring around him. It'd be a, a crystal dervish lago, that's what he'd be. Oh cool, is that a... Is that looks like it's a, either a hunter slime or a tar in the background. That is so cool, man. There goes a tabby slime on fire. All right, if you wanted to see the whole thing, because I'm probably going to cut that down, I obviously urge you to get the game yourself. Um, oh, it's actually... The lyrics were written by Nick, the guy who developed the game, or one of the guys who developed the game. Wow. For every pioneer on every new frontier, be brave, be bold, and stay wiggly. <laughs> what does that mean? What is that? Oh. Hey, we're back at the ranch! Cool! Oh, we actually have a letter from Hobson Twilges. Hello, Beatrix. I just wanted to say thanks for taking care of the old ranch. I know I left it in a bit of a sorry state, and from what I hear, it's looking mighty fine these days. It makes me feel all warm and fuzzy knowing that it's in such good hands. As a, oh, I'm, I'm reading it in my own voice, not in Hobson's voice. Anyway. As a little thank you, I've, I've activated three secret vaults that I built years ago to stash a small fortune of mine. I had always planned on using it as walking around money in the great beyond, but I ain't needing for that no more. But you know me, I like a good adventure. I'm not telling where the vaults are located. Go explore. Hobson. Ooh, snap! So, so, so. There's some vaults around the place, man! Some vaults! We need to find these vaults! I, I thought, hey, we're gonna start a new game. That's what we're gonna be doing in this video, which we still might. We kind of got time, okay? I'm, I'm guessing that's like, there's probably... Oh god, what are you doing in there? Get out of there, dude! This is not your, your place. Um... Hmm... What would it even look like? You would assume there's like... There'd be one in the ranch, so ow! There'd be one in the ranch or something, right? I remember playing, you know, through Slime Rancher and thinking, oh, it kind of feels like there should be something out here, but there's not really anything out here. You know what I mean? Like the, uh, like the Ring Island, for example. Pro probably like the Ash Isle, which is like the Volcanic Island. I think that's what they call it, the Ash Isle. Definitely there. Oh, we could, we could actually just, uh, teleport from the lab. Let's do that. That'll save us loads of time. Hey, how we doing? How we doing? <laughs> Sorry to be old, uh, neglect the ranch here. We're gonna go in here. Ooh, hang on. Was there something different? Yeah, was this... I don't think... I think that's new. I think these wooden planks here are new. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go in here. And let's head out to... The Ash Isle first. Okay. The Ash Island. Ash... Islay. Here we go. Ooh, where are we? We're almost there. We just need to run, jump over this bridge. And then, we'll see if there's something out there. Is there something around here? Something, something over this way? Just a little something, something? A little trap door? No? Okay. What about... Ooh, hang on! There was a section just over here. Right, I'll just do a quick little, uh... Just a little cheeky peek around the corner. 
Um, no, that part there still looks a little bit empty. Can we make that? We can. <laughs> That's good. All right. That's where the uh, the Crystal Lago was. That guy was huge. That guy was massive. Oh! Oh! That's it! That's got to be it, right? That's got to be the vault. It's even got an H. It's got an Obson H. <laughs> wow. Let's go in. What's in here? Ooh! There's like another little room. Slime key. Good thing we have three slime keys. Let's get involved, guys. Let's do this. What's inside? Ooh, it's a treasure pod. What else? Anything else? Ooh, slime switch. What's the slime switch doing there? Okay, let's open up this. What is it? Ooh, a gold plot. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers for the gold plot, dude. Wow. Okay, okay. Let's just uh, let's just hit the slime switch. And what does this do? Ooh. Oh, what? <laughs> Are you serious? That is so cool. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> that was surprising and just absolutely superb. That was good. Okay. Okay. What's in all these? Oh, yes. Give me them gold plots, man. Give me all them. How many? Many gold plots are up in this place. Oh, this is nuts. This is so nuts. That was so cheeky. They were like, oh, here's one gold plot. <laughs> no, no, no. There are loads, absolutely loads of gold plots. Old Hobson, man, he was cashed up. He was holding out on Earth, man, just holding all these uh, gold plots for himself. I wonder if they knew about that. <laughs> You're probably getting in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Wow! Look at all this! I wonder if there's any like secrets around here. I'm just gonna <laughs> hunt for them secrets. You know, Finn loves a good secret. I have a hundred! I have a hundred gold plots right now, guys. One hundred gold plots. That is incredible. Okay, let's let's head back out of here. That is nuts! Okay, well, I'm assuming that like there's there's a bunch more gold plots up there and you know in that and that those ones as well is what I'm trying to say. My words are coming out all, you know, jumbled up. Like someone's just dropped them like a meat pie because I'm, I'm a little bit uh, surprised and somewhat flabbergasted, you could say. That that would be a word that someone might use from 1920. Once, once we finish here today, guys, this is it for this safe game. <laughs> we'll be starting again. Don't you worry. Don't you worry your little weird little heads, okay? How much does a hundred gold plots fetch us today? Hmm, 365 a piece. Thank you very much. If there were that many plots in that, in that uh, vault, what about the other vault? The other two vaults, I might add. Where are they? We should probably check the docks first. Remember that? Remember ages ago how people said that, oh God, really? Okay. <laughs> we have giant tornadoes! Yes! Finally! Finally we have the giant tornadoes. It's what I've always wanted. Oh, this is this is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yes! Yes! Create more! Create all of them! Whoa! It's a flippin' windstorm in here! This is good! My computer has caught fire! <laughs> Oh my god, you guys are just gonna stay here. I'm not gonna turn you into tar. What am I? Some kind of devil? I'm not a devil. Who would do such a thing? You'd have to be a horrible person to just unleash tar upon a bunch of slimes. This bit's always kind of felt like, I don't know, there wasn't a, wasn't a great deal of purpose to it, but maybe it was in, just intended to be a shortcut. You know, there's always that, perhaps. So let's have a bit of a look around here. Hey, that door is locked. I thought I unlocked that door. I'm not wasting a slime key on that, man. Not if we need to open up more of those vaults. Jeez. Okay, let's go over to the Ring Island. Check out what's going on over there. Maybe there's something. I see tabby slime on the ground. Tabby fluid. <laughs> That's what that is. Oh, <laughs> I promise never to mention slimes and fluid again. 
Okay, all right, we get a bit of a bird's eye view from here. Actually, we'll probably get a bird's eye view from a little bit high. There's one up there. There's one up there. It's fine. Let's go up there. <laughs> I saw something that I've never seen there before, so it's probably it. Yes, and it is. Let's go inside this one. There's another slime thing. Another slime thing. Slime gate. That's what they call them. Hey, though. There's a warning on this one. This one's like, hey, don't go inside unless you want to turn into a skull with bones stuck in its head. What is this one? This one seems way different. What is it? Oh, oh. What's the warning? Okay, what's in this? Just more gold plots or what? Yes? Loads of gold plots. Give me that. Give me that. Yes. Give me all the gold plots. Man, I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be the next Trump. Activate it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it did warn me. It really... Oh, cool. Yes. Yes. We got all these as well. I should have brought food for those guys. But I didn't. Oops. Oops. Look at all these. I wonder if they all contain gold plots or whether some of them contain other stuff. You know what I mean? I don't know. There could be some more secret things and I just would never know. I'm going to go ahead and assume <laughs> that all the other ones are full of, uh, of, you know, all the gold plots. But we're going to go out to the moss blanket now and have a look out there, see if there's something out that way. There is actually one area that I know of in the moss blanket where it felt like there should have been something. Like, it just felt... I don't know, it felt really strange that there wasn't something there. And that is the... Uh, wait, where's my teleporter? Here it is. And that's the uh, the section just after the, the ferals, the, you know, all the feral hunter slimes. Moss blanket, yeah. Okay. Uh, which is the quickest way there? Probably up over all these trees and stuff. So, just out past this beast. Have I read this Hobson sign? What's this one saying? I highly advise you have a jetpack. I highly advise you have a jetpack and a few upgrades before tackling what's ahead. The land is all broken and twisted and there's plenty of feral slimes about who you won't see coming before they blast you right into the sea. Keep those peepers peeled. Okay, no worries. I'm not sure I've read that one before. Even though like I've probably ran past it, just assuming that I've read it. Ooh, I'm just gonna, just gonna hit this. There you go dudes. Smile, now they're happy. Yeah. See, I knew that was good for something. Plorts. Eat the gold plorts. Chew on them. Break your teeth. Ooh. Ooh, yes. Here we go. The final one. Prepare your butts. Let's get in this. Oh, look at this one. This one's all like Tomb Raider and everything. Ooh. Ooh, ah. Ooh, and all the ass. Open it up. Open it up. What's inside? Probably more gold plorts. Hey! Oh, hey, dude! Oh, it's a gold slime! Oh, what? What is going on? Oh, this is cool! Ugh. Hit them all! Go down this way! Hit these! Hit them! Ugh. Where'd he go? Oh, they ran away because they're gold slimes and they run away. Oh. Wow, how frantic would that be? <laughs> Whoa, that is nuts. That is such a cool idea. I've never seen so many gold slimes, except for the time where I spawned about 50. <laughs> Ooh, cool. Uh, let's open all these. Let's open all the pods this time, every single one of them, and see if it's just all gold plots. That's amazing. Look at that. Can we even carry all these? I don't think we can, can we? Is that more than 100? I think it could be. Oh, it's close. It's so close. More gold plots. <laughs> Look at them all just raining down there. That is cool. I wonder if there's any building spots around here. Like little building, uh, little gadget build sites. Nope. I think that's it. Oh, now I know why that fruit's there. The pogo fruit is there so that you could shoot the gold slimes. Of course, Finn, come on, mate. Get with the program. All right, and there was also this little bit down here. Where was it? Just down here. This little bit here always felt strange, but there's nothing here. So it still feels a little bit strange, <laughs> but that's okay. That's fine. So we found Hobson's three vaults. 
We got cashed up, even though we were kind of cashed up already. But that would be such a great way to earn some extra money in case you wanted to buy all the, uh, you know, the 7Z rewards. So that is really cool. Now you know where the vaults are, okay? So let's quit out of here and let's have a look and see if there's any new game modes. Because I know that there was supposedly talks of some new game modes, um, like challenge modes and things like that. So we'll have a look at that and uh, start a new game. So it looks like the new game mode isn't uh, isn't here yet. So that must be something that's sort of coming in uh, in the next update because they are still updating the game. It's fully released now, but they're still going to be updating it. So I'm going to call this one like full version because that's what it is. Full version. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> and what kind of icon are we gonna have? Let's have um, Qberry. I like because I like Qberries. I'm so like almost grateful that I've gotten to play the game from the beginning to now. You know, from when it was first released in uh, in its early access version. Um, but I'm also a little bit jealous of all the people who are just playing it right now for the first time. You know, like just seeing it and experiencing it like completely fresh. It'd be, uh, it'd be an amazing thing and something that I, I wish I knew, you know, what it felt like. It's just I know this game inside and out and I've seen it grow so I know where all the secrets are and all that sort of, you know, all those sorts of things. It's, it's a little bit of a shame that I won't get to experience uh, the whole thing at once, you know. But, here we go. We're jumping in. New game. Let's, let's round up these pinks. Let's start this off in a pleasant way. Okay, let's just get some pink slimes. Let's do this old school, guys, which is what we're gonna do. Let's get these pink slimes, put them in there. Just put them straight in like I'm some kind of noob. You know what I mean? Like, ooh, pink slimes, I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna be rich off these four pink slimes. No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. Okay. Oh, you you acquired a slime plot. Sell it, dude. All right, I'm gonna sell it. Bang. Biggity bang, we sold it. Shoot a veggie. I did. I shot a veggie right in there, right in this thing's mouth. Look at it, because it's a face. One, two eyes, and a big smiley mouth. Just like the slimes themselves. You guys are going to have some food soon. Don't stress. Don't stress, little guys. I'm going to walk around. And look at all this stuff. It's all closed up. We can't get in there, because we're noobs. <laughs> That's what we are. We're full noob mode right now. We don't even have a jetpack. I'm just gonna pretend like I'm experiencing this for the first time. So amazing, so fresh, so clean, such full version. We got a star mail from Casey. I'm gonna grab some more slimes because why not collect them? Collect them all, man. Pokemans. Oh, 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 snap. What's Finn doing? He's already going rogue. <laughs> I'm going rogue on this game. Oh, let's get that one. Cuberry, carrots, chickens, treasure pod. What's a treasure pod? I don't know because I'm a noob, okay? I just, I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> okay, enough with the act, Finn. Stop being an idiot. People are probably starting to unsubscribe. <laughs> oh, Hobson. Hello, Beatrix. My name's Hobson Twilgers. Rancher explorer and the former owner of this here ranch you now call your own. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I was a rancher for more years than I can remember and felt there was one last adventure left to me, so I've set off to find just that. But before I go, I'm taking one last tour around this here land I love, so keep your peepers peeled for your notes, for notes like these. If you want to hear an old coot has, if you, if you want to hear what an old coot has to say every now and again, be talking to you. Cool! Okay, thanks Hopsums! I build a garden, I, I know, I know! I'm gonna put them Slimmy Slams in there. There we go. There you go, buds. There you go, buds. Get them in. Um, we should probably sell some plorts again. Get some more monies. Make another garden. Oh, oh, enough cash to, oh. Just shy, just shy. It's hard being poor in this game. Jeez, this game doesn't stuff around. This is hard mode. Dark. Slimes. That's what it is. Slimes born. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, plots! If we get these plots, we could probably uh, make a garden. Cuberry garden? Or um, pogo fruit garden? Probably a pogo fruit garden, because you get way more pogo fruits than what you do cuberries. Cuberries are for suckers and um, phosphor slime ranches. There's a rock lago there. The rock slimes come from down that way. 
in the time that I've just started this game, how has a rock slime gotten all the way up here to be able to get that? That's, that's an adventurous rock slime. Okay, let's go and sell these plorts. Oh, we could probably put it in another garden. All right, we could do that. We can get it all up in the, in the ground. And then we'll plant some pogo fruits. Pink plorts! Yes! We have enough money to build another garden. Oh, they're roostros! No! Let's get a coop! Let's get a coop! Get some chickens going on! You sound a lot like the chickens. Alright, I've made i I've made a little bit of a start. I've scratched the surface. Actually, I've kind of rubbed the surface. I've barely scratched it. I said that I'm gonna let you guys basically shape how we do this, okay? I'm gonna take like the best ideas from the comments that you guys leave on how to build this ranch and this slime rancher experience this time round. So that's how we're gonna be doing it, alright guys. That's how we laying this one down. This is gonna be a new a new series. <laughs> the full version series coming right up. But I'm gonna leave the video here, so if you have your suggestions, leave them in the comments below. But thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give us one of these ones, and I'll see you guys next time.